Hey, Forrest here. Nothing like getting paid. And with ICCU's mobile app, I can deposit checks or accept Zelle payments so the money hits my account fast. I just wish there was an app for mowing the rest of these wands. Right now, Lithia Ford of Boise is buying used vehicles. How much you want for the SUV? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lithia Ford will give you more than that. How much more? More than you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm thinking you might get even more than that. See how much more you can get at Lithia Ford of Boise. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Ropepaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coating solution. This is Bronco Nation News Live. The best interviews, the most informed opinions, the latest breaking news, all from the top Boise State insiders. Here's B.J. Reigns with another edition of Bronco Nation News Live. Well, we are live here at uh, Sun Bowl Stadium here at UTEP. B.J. Reigns with you. We appreciate it, buddy, for checking us out. And that was about an hour ago. You can see the stadium there. This is B.J. Reigns. Appreciate you guys for uh, checking us out. This is Lithia Ford of Boise, BroncoNationNews.com pregame show. Idaho Central Credit Union, RopePaint.com, all of our great sponsors. And here's a live look on the field, thanks to uh, Colin Mitchell. Colin, you can unmute yourself if you want. We can get a little ambiance of the uh, noise going on down here on the field. We got a couple players out here going through warm-ups. Boise State going in the uh, all-white uniforms today. White helmets, white jerseys, white pants for uh, – What's going on down there on the field, Colin? Nothing too much right now. I'm hoping you can hear me okay. So you got special teams out here taking some kicks, um, punting the ball a little bit. We got James Ferguson Reynolds out here, and uh, yeah, everyone just went back to the locker room. So a little downtime right now. Well, we uh, got some comments, some questions coming in. Feel free to let us know where you're watching the game from. We would love to uh, hear from you. Give us some shout outs. Let us know what you think. Here's some uh, the live look kind of from the press box. This will be the view that uh, Colin and I have from the game. This is where we are broadcasting from right now as uh, Boise State. Oh, about 58 minutes away from kickoff here as Boise State gets set to uh, face the UTEP Miners in a pretty big game for the Broncos as they try to get to uh, three and one. UTEP obviously coming off a loss to uh, New Mexico the other day and uh, need Colin to throw a football over towards Jay's setup, see how good his reactions are. So uh, Jay is on uh, live right near us as well, I guess, for uh, for uh, what he's got going on. UTEP is 1-3, by the way, coming into this game. Here's our view up here in the press box. Appreciate everybody for checking us out. No air conditioning in the press box, so I apologize in advance for the uh, – perspiration on my uh, forehead here but uh Boise State again and I've also got to be a little quieter because I'm up in the press box here today so uh, hopefully folks can hear me okay and again get your comments in your questions in let us know where you're watching from we always enjoy doing the shout outs and letting folks know uh, where where you're uh, watching the game from your score predictions is Cortez Hogan still a part of the team I'll, I'll look into that um not uh sure on that but we're going to get our uh Picks on uh, who is in and who is out or are uh, act- inactives here in about 12 minutes. So we'll let you know which Boise State players are out and um, which Boise State players are in. Looks packed like the Rose Bowl. Well, we're still an hour away from kickoff, but yes, this is the stadium. You can see that the the it's not doing great on the uh, with the lighting here, but you can see the sun. Uh, the glare is not quite as bad as it looks on the camera there, but uh, there's the, uh, the hill back there. Pretty cool stadium. First time here. And... Uh, Watching from Blue, Broomfield, Colorado. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. But, uh, yeah, kind of a first time here. We're checking out the stadium for the first time. It's a pretty cool uh, atmosphere, pretty uh, pretty cool uh, town, I guess I should say, with El Paso. The way the stadium is built is right into the middle of this uh, crevice. There's, like, a mountain in the one side of it. There's a mountain behind it, and, like, right in the middle is literally a bowl that is the stadium. So it's uh, pretty cool for anyone that's never been here. Um, should be a pretty cool, uh, you know, venue to check out. 
Um, I was looking at my tweet earlier today. I think it was 26 cities before tonight. So I think this is the 27th city that I've uh, covered a Boise State game in uh, on the beat in the last 10 years. So uh, I'm getting some some uh, flack on social media because I don't know if any of you guys read my uh, pregame blog, blog earlier today at BroncoNationNews.com. I've got Boise State winning this one in a blowout. I think this is the game the offense really gets going. We heard all week about the, uh, you know, run in the ball and all the wet things that are changing. And I think that, uh, I think that, uh, you know, the whole run happy possession, you know, take care of the clock uh, type of thing for this team is, uh, was, was dominating the headlines all week. I, I think Boise state comes out and scores a lot of points. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm uh, wrong, but I got Boise state uh, scoring a lot of points today, winning this game uh, fairly easily. So uh, I'm going to go over 40 points for the Boise state offense today. I think they get over 40 points. And I think uh, Boise State wins this game rather easily. So I've been wrong on most of my predictions, but we'll see. Uh, I appreciate you, Lisa Gardner, watching from uh, Key West. Lisa Kirk Gardner, appreciate you for uh, checking us out, Lisa. <coughs> Excuse me. This was, uh, oh, about an uh, hour, a little over an hour ago, Andy Avalos and the Broncos making their way into the stadium. Some of the coaches coming in as well. You've got uh, Spencer Danielson right there. Tim Plough, uh, a little bit behind him right there with the uh, sport coat on. Some of the other coaches making their way in. There's Lou Major. Here's Keith Bonafa, the running backs coach. Some of the uh, other coaches making their way into the uh, stadium a little while ago. you got the players coming in as well. There's uh, Scott Matlock. You can't miss that hair from uh, Scott Matlock. Some of the other players making their way in, some of the coaches. Boise State looking like a pretty focused team getting off the bus, and obviously uh, – Obviously, that's going to be, uh, you know, it's one of those games where you're going to have to play against yourselves, to be honest, because this is not a game that uh, should be all that close on the scoreboard. Very surprised the spread is only 16 and a half points. Uh, I will just say that. But uh, you got the players coming in. There's Matt Miller, the wide receivers coach, Nate Potter, tight ends coach. You got uh, Talon Green coming in, some of the other players. Um, we'll keep you updated as the players are kind of starting to trickle onto the field here. We'll let you know maybe who is out or what's going on in terms of any injuries or guys that might be out injured. Uh, we do have the specialists on the field now. Some of the other uh, players will start trickling their way out. You know, Zeke Noah, some other players that went out injured in the last game. We're going to have to uh, you know, try to keep our eye on them to see what you know, which ones of those guys, if, if any of them are playing or not. Uh, you know, Hank Bachmeyer did leave late in the uh, game and didn't come back. Um, we'll see if there's any issues with him. But uh, obviously this is a game where Boise State uh, – wants to come out, wants to fix some things. This is kind of their last game, really, with, uh, you know, the last, uh, you know, I don't want to say gimme, but the last game you're going to win pretty easily because let's not forget who's waiting a week from tonight at Albertson Stadium, and that's going to be uh, San Diego State, and then you got Fresno State right after that. So this is uh, not going to be not going to be a, uh, you know, easy stretch coming up after, um, you know, after this game tonight. And so you want to get some things right tonight. You want to, uh, you know, fix that offense, feel good about it, keep the defense going. You want to stay healthy as well. This was a short time ago. A lot of the players on the field kind of just doing their little walkthrough, checking out the uh, scenes and sights. There's J.L. Skinner listening to some music uh, as he makes his way onto the field as well. So Collins down there was a, a live look of the uh, warm-ups. There's a stadium, by the way. You can see what that looks like with the press box, the stadium behind it. Um, Again, you've got mountains pretty much on every side of the stadium here. It's a pretty cool spot for someone that hasn't uh, been here. And we'll go live with uh, Colin Mitchell, who's down there on the field. His quality is not quite as good right now on the uh, video, but uh, we'll uh, see if we can get Colin back in here shortly. Um, Colin Mitchell down there on the field. Uh, we see Jake Forsyth saying, uh, let's go. We've got uh, Noah, someone saying Noah, if Noah's out, hopefully we'll get Misa some playing time. Uh, again, we'll have the uh, final answer uh, here in about uh, seven minutes. Usually it's about 45 minutes till kickoff. They let us know. Uh, appreciate Max, who's watching both um, both uh, shows with Jay Tuss and myself. We appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, like I said, I said it on the air today. You look at some of the numbers, they're, they're not good for Boise State's offense. I mean, Boise State's offense has, has not been – uh, not been very good at all, uh, to be honest. Are we going to see Misa play tonight? Uh, I think you will if, uh, you know, there'll be some guys moving around, but you'll certainly see Misa play if uh, you're, you don't have um, Zeke Noah. So we'll have to kind of see what happens with Zeke moving forward. Chris says uh, Clint has 34-6, uh, the score prediction, 34-6 on Clint. Noah says, what's your take on Hank? 
Uh, I think he is uh, getting better. I think he got off to a rough start and then all of a sudden kind of got the, the jitters a little bit or the GPs and uh, whatever you call it and just kind of uh, – uh, I think that there's a lot of pressure on Hank to do well, and I think he will do well tonight. I actually predict Hank to have a pretty good game. Uh, you look at some of the numbers, and they're not great. And, again, this is kind of a uh, live look at uh, El Paso Stadium right now. You see some of the specialists for Boise State warming up on the field. You look at some of the numbers, Boise State 91st in scoring offense, 26 points per game, 107th in total offense at 318.7 yards per game, and uh, that uh, means they're 104th in passing offense and 92nd in rushing defense. So outside the top 90 in every offense, major offensive category, and there's 130 FBS teams. So um, not ideal what you're uh, wanting to see uh, early in the uh, – um, you know, what you want to see early on uh, in the season. Now, Jay Tuss came on our show earlier today. I do have a bite I want to play. Um, this was Jay Tuss on the morning show talking about tonight's game. We'll uh, play that. Coming back to Texas, right? There's going right. to be a tech. There's going to be a text. There's going to be a Texan that does something. Latrell Caples or Taylor Green finds the end zone or is going to get the opportunity to find the end zone. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I just they're, they're coming back home to Texas. They've got to give one of those guys a, a chance to do something in front of some family and friends. I mean, I remember uh, way back in the day when, when Riley uh, Smith was just switching over to tight end when they went down to Florida State. He was a redshirt freshman, and they found him a way to get him on the field for a second. So one of those guys is going to do something. I'm going, 30, I'm going 38-7 tonight. I think How it's many- going to be a blowout. I think that Boise State's going to have a really good night offensively, which is 38 points, remember. Yeah. And uh, this defense is still going to be tough to move the ball against. I would like to know more about the linebackers when I say only giving up seven, but I'm just going to roll with it. There was Jay Tust on the uh, morning show uh, this morning. And, again, a uh, live look here. Colin Mitchell back. We'll get his uh, stream in here. A uh, live look from the field here at uh, Sun Bowl Stadium in El Paso, Texas. The sun setting should be a beautiful night for football. It's a little warm, a little on the warm side, but uh, great uh, night for football. And uh, un- the press box is not uh, air-conditioned, by the way. So, I, again, apologize for sweating. Uh, keep getting in. Um, Keep getting in. I uh, spent the whole morning show poo-pooing uh, the fan angst about the offense. Not ideal. Uh, what did I say in terms of not ideal? What did I say about uh, – I'm doing ten things at uh, once here. So, for whatever I said, I wasn't trying to uh... – any word on Ben Dooley's status? No, not yet. We're waiting for these guys to come out. So the quarterbacks are out here, and there is Hank Bachmeyer over to the left. Um, you've got four quarterbacks suited up tonight. Looks like Vidlack, Green, Bachmeyer uh, are, are all out there, so that's a good sign. You can see uh, Bachmeyer right there playing catch. We got a score prediction of 42-7. to seven. Uh, I got uh, 48-10. I said 48-10 on my, on my uh, live – um, live uh, blog that's up on the site right now, 4810. I know that seems crazy. I know that uh, you wouldn't necessarily think that's going to be the case tonight based on everything we've seen and talked about, but I've got a, a weird feeling that Boise State's offense really, really gets going tonight. I, uh, you know, I, I really think this is the game. I think Hank Bachmeyer has a really good game. I'm excited for Hank Bachmeyer. I think he's the player of the game tonight. Uh, I think that, uh, I think Boise State gets going on offense tonight. We talked all week about the um, you know slowing down the, the game and running the football and all this and low, having to win ugly, low-scoring games. I think t- tonight's the night Boise State goes out and just uh, kind of shuts everybody up for a few days and plays uh, plays really well. Uh, Cole Wright is the who Clint's predicting uh, for the player of the game. Chris says, I'd be thrilled that we scored 48. And I'm probably wrong. I was wrong. I thought they'd blow out Oregon State in the first game. That obviously didn't happen. So um, by no means am I uh, – you know, right in what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about, but I, uh, you, you can unmute yourself, Collins. So we can get a little bit of the atmosphere here if you like on the field and the music and stuff. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I, uh, I, I just think Boise State's going to play well in this one. I really do. I just have a weird feeling. Um, you know, I'm usually wrong. I'm probably wrong again, but, uh, just, uh, all the talk this week about Tim Plow, I think he just wants to come out and have a really, really, really good game offensively, really start to quiet, to quiet everybody a little bit. So, uh, I think they get over 40 points. I got over 40 points for Boise State's uh, offense tonight. It wouldn't shock me at all if it's uh, 48 to uh, 48 to 10. We're going to have to see on Ben Dooley. We're going to have you know, that would help the line if Ben Dooley is back. We're waiting. The players are kind of trickling on now. Here's the centers right here. So we'll see. Um, you know what what the combinations look like when the players start making their way out on the field. We don't have the rest of the offensive line out there yet. 
Don't have the linebackers out there yet, so we're waiting to find out about Zeke Noah. Um, I wasn't poo-pooing the fan uh, angst, by the way, whoever said that question earlier. I was just saying, me personally, I don't need style points if I'm a fan. If I win a game, I'm happy. I know a lot of you guys want to win and win 50-0 to zero and have a lot of excitement and look perfect. I got no problem with that. If those are your expectations, that's great. For me personally, there's only 12 games in a season. I wait eight months for college football. I'm not going to waste my week being upset they only won, you know, 30-7 to seven or whatever it was last year at West Week against UT Martin. So, um, I, 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 you're... I'm not poo-pooing anything. I expect fans to have high expectations. I'm just saying, me personally, as a fan, if the team wins, and uh, if the team wins, I think that, uh, you know, that should be the, the biggest thing that you're looking forward to. Shane Lowry, go Broncos. Best of luck watching from Charleston, South Carolina. Appreciate you uh, watching from in there. Gonzo is not warming up with Hank. You're right. That's 75. 55 is working with Vidlack. That is very interesting. Will Farah is working at the starting center with Hank Bachmeyer right there. That might be telling. Um, that's very interesting. Will Far Farah is uh, interesting. Just tweeted that out while we're on the air here. That's a very interesting. Nice observation, whoever uh, tweeted that out. Um, Gonzo not warming up with Hank. That is uh, that is an interesting uh, observation right there. You can tell usually the starting center works with the uh, starting quarterback. So unless Sam Vidlack is starting, they are uh, benching uh, Kikani Holomia Gonzalez. That might be uh, yeah. Curran warming up with Green. Chase says that uh, Sam Vidlack is starting tonight. No, I think the better scenario is uh, KHG who has really struggled at center, uh, maybe not starting this game. You might not have KHG starting at center. That's uh, very interesting. So we will uh, certainly keep an eye on that. Keep your uh, score predictions coming in, by the way. We'll try to come up with a prize for whoever can get the uh, – closest score prediction. We are broadcasting from the mobile studios, the Cutwater Canned Cocktails mobile studios here in El Paso. Make sure you get out to Cutwater, get yourself a, a Cutwater Canned Cocktail, your local grocery store or gas station. Very affordable. They're one of our major sponsors here. They support, they sponsor our uh, studio sponsorship. So Cutwater Canned Cocktails, make sure you pick one up for the game tonight. And as always, if you are uh, drinking a Cutwater Canned Cocktail either now or on the post-game show, send us a tweet with uh, yourself watching the show and drink in a cut water and we will uh, make sure we uh, give you a shout out on the air and uh, some sort of special gift if we can uh, moving forward here we got 38 14 for greg miles 54 to 6 from chase love that's more in the direction that i'm going with this one 35 17 from chad not wanting to be a bottom feeder according to the stats you gave is not demanding style points my friend but i agree about everyone no those stats are not good you need better offensive stats no doubt about it you stay in the 90s, you're not going to win a lot of games this year. I'm not saying that at all. There's no doubt about that. You have to have better offense. Um, but, you know, they had 251 yards of offense in the first half, and everybody was still complaining. So it's kind of like, what do you, you know, what do you want? What are you, what are you uh, going after at that point? Um, and so, um, you know, the bottom line ultimately is the win. Yes, you want to have better offense. You want to have better stats. But certainly the, the bottom line is, did you win the game? So uh, you're seeing some of the uh, skill position players taking the field now uh, we got the 41 10 watching from san diego appreciate you um likes the idea of a lot of shifts and motions pre-snap he rock doesn't mind slowing down the offensive tempo just want to see improvements each game more consistency in the drives uh, Derek's about to be the front owner of a Hank Bachmeyer shirt jersey and route to the blue and orange store. Let's go. Perfect. Tell him you heard uh, me talking about the blue and orange store on the Bronco Nation News, man. Would uh, really appreciate that. Um, let's see what other comments we got coming in here. Again, we're waiting to find out who. Uh, you got Hank Bachmeyer. It looks well, I guess all the quarterbacks are throwing, but it looks like Hank Bachmeyer taking a lot of the snaps there. I don't think we need to worry about him. Uh, fan base happy with a 5-2 and two record through the Air Force game? I, I think so. Yeah, I think they would be happy with a 5-2 and two record through the Air Force game. There's no doubt about that. Um, I think that would be uh, very welcomed at this point if they could uh, find a way to uh, do that. And, and uh, I think you'd pick 6-1. and one, But if you can get through the Fresno, San Diego State Air Force with only one loss in those three games, I think that's probably something that uh, you would take uh, Chase Love with our offense. We'd probably lose to Kansas right now. Hey, three teams have already lost to Kansas. They're 3-0. and So uh, 
Don't take a shot at my Jayhawks here. Come on. Uh, David Larson, 42-14. Go Broncos. So, uh, again, you see the live look there on the field of the warm-ups. This is the top view, by the way. You can see Boise State down there uh, warming up on the field. Again, UTEP 1-3. and three. UTEP just lost last week to New Mexico, the same New Mexico team that Boise State beat pretty bad. They lost the 27 to 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. 27 to 10. They lost that game. And here's the out with injuries. Riley Smith, Zeke Noah, Hogan's, Randolph, Dooley, Raftall, Isaiah Banya. Riley Smith, Zeke Noah, Cortez Hogan's, Randolph, Dooley, and Raftall are out, all out injured. This is breaking news from uh, from Boise State. Um, so I'm going to tweet that out real quick. But um, very interesting that uh, out for Boise State. And again, we'll cut back to the uh, live look of warm-ups here. You can see Colin down there on the field as I tweet this out. Um, trying to do a tweet while live on the air here. How about that? Out for Boise State tonight. Riley Smith. Ezekiel Noah, Cortez Hogans, Randolph, Ben Dooley, Kurt Raftall, and Isaiah Banya. Um, non injury, non discipline is Banya. I don't know what that means, but. Uh, that's uh, some key guys. So what do you think? No Riley Smith, no Zeke Noah, no Cortez Hogan's tonight. What do you make about uh, you know Boise State's linebacking core is going to get tested even more here now um, when you think about uh, what we've talked about in the linebacking core and needing to get that group going to now not have one of your uh, main linebackers. That's, uh, that's a big loss in the middle of that defense. There's no doubt about it. Um, Mason Randolph also out. So that's... Uh, I just want to tweet that out there. So now we got, uh, and it looks like there'll be a change at center too. If you're just joining us, okay. Connie Holomia Gonzalez was taking snaps with Isaiah Banya, the third team. So maybe KHG's playing guard. That's what somebody said here, Chase Love. Maybe they move KHG to guard. We'll find out shortly when the O linemen come out there. But that is very interesting. Zeke's a huge loss. Hoping for big things for Hopper. Both right guards are out again. Yep. Really hoping to see uh, Hogan's this year. No doubt a loss of linebacker, but Tarlis is going to go crazy tonight. Two to three sacks for George. As we wait for the uh, rest of the team to uh, come out here to, for uh, warm-ups, I do want to thank a couple of our great sponsors for helping us get on the air here. Idaho Central Credit Union. They sponsor our road trip coverage. We would not be here in El Paso without Idaho Central Credit Union. So check out ICCU.com for all of your uh, banking needs. And, and uh, we appreciate, again, um, Idaho Central Credit Union for their support of Bronco Nation News. Make sure you go check them out. Transportation compliance service. If you're looking to get into the trucking industry, it's a perfect time. Whether it's the Amazon truck or the truck you see there on your screen, transcomservice.com can help you get all the permits done, get you out there towing that first load in no time. I mentioned the blue and orange store. How about this? You can meet JL Skinner tomorrow. 11 a.m. tomorrow, you can meet JL Skinner at the blue and orange store. If you're in Boise, head on up there. And uh, tomorrow at 11, you can meet JL Skinner and get his autograph, pick up one of his NIL shirts. A lot of cool stuff going on with JL Skinner. He'll be at the blue and orange store tomorrow at 11 a.m. Make sure you check out the blue and orange store tomorrow at 11 a.m. A couple other great sponsors, Boise Dentistry Co. We appreciate them. Check them out, boisedentistryco.com. If you're looking for a new dentist, full family dentistry. And United Commercial Insurance, 44 states around the country. They can write business policy insurance. Again, 44 states around the country. They make business insurance easy. Check them out, unitedcommercialinsurance.com. Uh, we are watching Boise State take the field here for warm-ups. They're going to go through some stretching and things like that, and then we'll uh, – be able to get the full look of the team stuff as that approaches. We'll try to stay on long enough for everybody to uh, get a chance to check that out. Uh, again, we're taking your shout outs. We're taking your uh, where you're watching the game from. We're taking your score predictions. We our uh, pregame graphic back on the screen there. We got some comments rolling in. We'll get to those. Looks like a packed house. Yeah, we are uh, 36 minutes from kickoff. And this is your crowd right now, uh, 36 minutes from kickoff as Boise State uh, going through some stretching on the field, warming up a little bit. 
time for Hopper to shine. So we will get some, uh, we have no Raftall and no Smith. So Tyneal Hopper is going to get a big load at tight end tonight. That is uh, going to be uh, interesting. Here's the, uh, the view from the press box. You can see the uh, one of the mountains there. You can see Boise State on the field warm up. This is the view that we have uh, here in the press box. Uh, for tonight's game, again, if you're just joining us, out with injuries for Boise State. Riley Smith, Zeke Noah, Cortez Hogans, Mason Randolph, Ben Dooley, Kurt Raftall uh, are out with injury. And then non-injury, non-discipline, Isaiah Banya, whatever that means. Non-injury, non-discipline, Isaiah Banya is out in this game as well. Chad says, guessing that Devin Wright is going to get a lot of time. That looks like that could be. Uh, Misa going to make the fam proud at 3 a.m. their time. Um, Noah out is huge. The tight ends might be questioned a bit without Raftal and Smith. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big one to have have that be the case where you're not going to have, uh, you know, Zeke Noah. So the linebacker depth is going to be interesting. You've had DJ Shram start at the week, you know, will linebacker spot the first three weeks. Uh, he could slide back over, um, you know, and play some middle. You have uh, Brandon Hawkins in there that could play. You're probably going to see some Misa. You had Andrew Simpson, who also did some things. I know they liked what they saw from Andrew Simpson during camp. Um, he's a guy that's got some playing time, had that blocked kick in the uh, New Mexico game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll have to see what they do on defense tonight. Um, again, you know, the offense of UTEP is not very good. They had seven turnovers in the last game on offense, um, only scored 14 points uh, against New Mexico. Um, so, um, we'll, we'll, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily going to mean they can't win this game, but I'll tell you what, if you don't have Zeke Noah against San Diego State next week, that's a real, real, real big loss um, to not have to not have uh, Zeke Noah against San Diego State and Fresno State in the games moving forward here. So that's a uh, that's a, a big, uh, big time loss for Boise State. So we got the hype circle going on. We'll uh, cut back to this one so you can see Boise State in the hype circle there on the left part of your screen. The uh, team captain's getting in there. Looks like Latrell Caples, a uh, Texas native, and that's a nice side story tonight. Se uh, Twelve players, twelve players from the state of Texas, are playing back in uh, their home state tonight. And that's obviously a, a big one with uh, Boise State. Uh, you know, coming back to Texas, it's a rarity. They only have about, uh, you know, I think it's 18 years. 2004 was the last time they played a regular season game in Texas. Crazy to think about. So um, we'll, uh, you know, see which Texas players can maybe be the story tonight. You heard Taylor Green, Ashton Genty, some of the Texas players that, uh, you know, Jay Tuss was saying have a chance to get in the end zone. So uh, we'll see. But um, we are going through some drills and things like that. We're getting closer to seeing what the starting offensive line looks like. It looks like uh, – oh, I wish I could see here. It looks like the center is Farah. 69 is at left guard. Right guard is – oh, turn around there. Who is that? 62? 62. Let's see. Who is number 62? And I apologize that I'm needing to look at the roster here on the fly. But uh, we're going to look for number 62. I don't have my card with me here. Hopefully we have a roster. If anybody can beat me to number 62 – that is Roger Carrion. Now he's a local product. Now we have we'll have to see. Roger Carrion, I believe, is a was a true freshman. I don't know if they're going to start a true freshman on the line. Maybe this is just some drill they're doing. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but uh, it looked like Roger Carrion was in at right guard. Um, he's a freshman out of New Mexico, I believe. Is he the one from Jal, New Mexico? Um, not too far from here, actually. That would be a heck of a story if he's the one that ends up playing and starting. But I, I can't see that being the case, to be honest, at this point. It is very, very rare for a true freshman to start along the offensive line. But they were doing some sort of drill, and it's hard to tell if that's what the actual line looks like or um, what's going to be the case. But uh, I think 62 might be your starting right guard. And wouldn't that be something? Um, wow. Um, Roger, carry on. C.A. R R E O N. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, typing a tweet as we go. Um, working with the starters at a right guard. Um, that would be something. That would certainly be something. We'll see if we have a connection back with Colin down there on, on the field. There's Colin. A little bit. There's the O line there on the right side of your screen. You got 70, you got 69. The quality is not great there, Colin, uh, but uh, not really much we can do at this point. Um, 
We'll cut back to the uh, wide shot. You can see Boise State warming up. Maybe Colin can cut a move a few feet. Maybe I see uh, Jay Tust over there, and he's trying to look in there and get some stuff as well. We'll see when the line comes together here. But if I'm seeing with my eyes from here, that would be that would be amazing if Roger Carrion started this game. Um, he is uh, Bob Staffen. Go Broncos. I wonder if that's the Bob Staffen that uh, is a referee in college basketball. I'm doubting he would say go Broncos if that were Bob Staffen, but. Uh, who knows? Confirm that 62 will go, start at right guard. Um, that's something. Wow. He is uh, Roger Carrion. So we'll look him up here, folks, and give you his bio. Um, how about that? He is 6'5", uh, 310 out of Jal, New Mexico. True freshman out of Jal, Mexico appears likely to start. That's something. Wow. That's uh, starting a true freshman at right guard. You guys may know better than me, but in my 10 years here, I can't ever remember a true freshman offensive line starting. Uh, I don't know if that's ever happened. And here Chris is asking about that. Can, can't remember a true freshman starting on the O-line ever. Carry on is starting. Yes, he is. Sun Bowl has a great visual backdrop. It actually does, and it's not as bad as the camera work is making it out to be. It's not as bad as the camera is making it out to be. But uh, we got to get off the uh, air here soon due to uh, comp, uh, Mountain West rules and things like that. So we're going to jump. We got a few minutes left, and then we are going to jump out of here. So I apologize that we can't take you all the way up till kickoff due to some TV rules and some things like that. We're trying to keep everybody happy so we can. Uh, Make sure that we are able to uh, keep doing these shows. Boise State going through some seven-on-seven seven stuff on offense down there. Colin's going to resituate his camera. We'll try to go back to him here in a minute or two um, for some uh, live looking on the field. Boys looking fast. Been watching over 20 years. Can't ever remember it happening. Uh, yeah, usually it's just you're not physically ready enough. Usually as true freshmen, it takes a year to add some weight, develop. But again, Roger Carrion is uh, out of Jal, New Mexico, and he is uh, – 6'5", 310. 6'5", as a true freshman getting a start here uh, fairly close to home, probably only a couple-hour drive. Uh, I don't know where exactly Jal is, but I think UTEP or El Paso might be the airport the coaches had to fly to and then drive over to see him. Um, so um, where are the fans? Beautiful venue, no other way to enjoy it. Yeah, they're starting to fill in a little bit. you got about 30 minutes still till, uh, till kickoff here. you got about 30 minutes till kickoff. Uh, framework famous for frame patchwork O-line. Um, yeah, it's been a weird year on the offensive line to now have a Will Farah starting at center. You're benching KHG and then you're now all of a sudden starting, starting a, a true freshman at right guard. So very interesting. Another reason maybe why I think they're going to air it out. I mean, I know they want to rely on the run, but you got two guys in there in different spots. I uh, personally believe that uh, tonight's tonight they let Hank Bachmeyer go to work. I think he's going to have a big game. I think this offense has a big game. I got Boise State surpassing the 40-point mark. Uh, I'm probably wrong, as I usually am, but I got Boise State. Uh, he's at – where's Bearford? He's at right tackle. He's over there at right tackle, number 71, I believe. So uh, no, no worries there. Um, now they're just messing with us, Nick Wade says, with starting a uh, true freshman at uh, right guard. Um, but uh, they must obviously think very highly of him. By the way, there is Deshaun Misa, number 50, going through some drills at linebacker. Doesn't look like he's with the starting group, but he is out there rotating through, so uh, that's a good sign. Uh, you are going to probably see some of uh, Deshaun Misa because you're also without Zeke Noah as well at the linebacker spot. So um, very interesting, very, very interesting. You're going to have a lot of things to watch tonight, uh, as I said, with all the different guys being out and what's this all going to look like. And, uh, you know, after the game, you all can come tell me I'm wrong. But hopefully, as I said, hopefully Boise State can score over 40 points and win this one rather easily. That's that's what I'm thinking. Hey, I want to thank Ridley's Family Market, shopridleys.com, 13 Idaho locations. Make sure you check them out, shopridleys.com. They got all the great at-home shopping, the Skip app. All that great stuff. Check them out. ShopRidleys.com. Matt Bousher, the number one ranked realtor in the Treasure Valley. BousherRealEstate.com. No house is too big or too small for Matt Bousher, so make sure you check out Bousher Realty. And uh, we appreciate Matt Bousher. Get out to Timberstone. Play Timberstone.com. You can book your tea time. Weather's starting to cool off. Perfect time to go play some more golf before the winter months, and you can do that at Timberstone Golf Course out in Caldwell. Check them out. Book your tea time. Play Timberstone.com. We uh, – 
would not be on the air if not for our title sponsor of this show, Lithia Ford. The Lithia Ford of Boise Fall kickoff sale is going on. Make sure you check them out. And how about this? Even if you don't want to buy a car from them, they'll still buy your used car. So you, they'll go make you a cash offer on the spot for your used car. So go check out Lithia Ford Boise. And uh, we appreciate all of their support of Bronco Nation News. And, of course, our title sponsor, RowPaint.com. Uh, the official paint and coatings company at Boise State Athletics. Make sure you check them out because uh, they got some great sales going on right now, including 10% off interior painting. If you're looking for interior painting of your home, it is 10% off right now uh, thanks to uh, rowpaint.com. I mentioned Cutwater. Hopefully you're drinking a Cutwater on the postgame show victoriously. Let's make it a deal. Boise State wins the game. You get a Cutwater. You take a picture of yourself watching the postgame show while drinking a Cutwater, and we will uh, put you in a, a little raffle to win an awesome Bud Light cooler that I have. I got another one of these. We had two of them. We gave one away already. We have an awesome uh, hard-shelled Bud Light cooler right here that we'll give away to someone uh, that uh, shows us on the uh, postgame show that they're drinking a uh, Cutwater canned cocktail after this uh Boise State win. So uh, we will see. Appreciate everybody for checking us out. Another live look on the field. We got a couple final comments coming in here. Um, Pronounce Hall, New Mexico. Okay, thank you. Was carrying on the two deep. I don't believe he was. Um, we'll have to look at that. Hopefully, it's just that good. Got to get row paint to do my garage. I'm telling you, tell them you heard about it on Bronco Nation News, man. They'll hook you up. They will give you a great deal if you tell them you heard about it on Bronco Nation News. Uh, their concrete coatings are game changers, and they can do so much. It is pretty uh, crazy. Um, no is the answer to that. No. I just looked up on the uh, depth chart here, and the right guard is Ben Dooley and Mason Randolph, and they're both hurt. So the two deep had uh, two right guards that are both out tonight. So instead of moving someone else like Cord Kringlin over or Will Farah or somebody else, Will Farah instead is going to start at center. And then you've got a uh, true freshman starting at right guard. So um, is he that good or the others that bad? Uh, well, he's, they don't have a lot left right now, but he's a true freshman. So I think that's a pretty good thing. BNN always bringing it. We're going to end it with that. We appreciate you, Jake. Hopefully everyone enjoys uh, watching the game tonight. We appreciate you again. And, uh, again, here's how it works. About 30 to 45 minutes after the game, as soon as uh, we're done down doing our interviews with Coach Avalos and the players down on the field, we will uh, – be ready to uh, bring you the post-game show. We'll have highlights. We'll have analysis. We'll have uh, interviews, all kinds of great stuff on the post-game show. So um, bring it, watch the game, have fun. And then after the game, grab a cut water, join us here on the YouTube channel for the post-game show. And uh, we'll go about an hour or so. We'll go as long as you want after the game. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube right now, would love if you could please click that subscribe button. Only takes a quick second. Click subscribe. We'd love for you to subscribe, like the video, and this helps us uh, gain our uh, channel here. We're, we're approaching 1,400 followers, uh, subscribers on YouTube, so we appreciate the 1,350 that have joined already. Uh, so if you are watching on YouTube, please just hit uh, subscribe there, and we would really, really appreciate that. So we'll see you after the game on the YouTube channel, on the, the Facebook page, on Twitter, wherever you're watching us right now. We appreciate you guys for checking us out. We will uh, be back after the game. Game starts, top of the hour, CBS Sports Network. After the game, about 30, 45 minutes, we'll be back with the post-game show. We'll have all kinds of analysis, interviews, highlights, our thoughts, and all that stuff. So check out bronconationnews.com, live blog going on, all kinds of content during the game. Be on Twitter as well. And uh, good luck to your Broncos. We'll see what happens. Boise State and UTEP getting ready to kick off. We'll be back after the game. Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com.